What's up guys, Native Pathfinder here, and I'm excited to bring you guys this little short video on bushcraft on a budget, or homesteading on a budget, survivability on a budget, uh, whichever you would prefer. Um, guys, I was out today, and uh, riding down the road, back on one of our country roads, and uh, going down the road... I looked, and I'd seen them the other day, and I'd just kind of been waiting on them to go to get right. But, um, guys, I ran into probably about a mile and a half worth uh, on a fence line on a local farm that was lined up with wild plum trees. And um, so I stopped by. I got a little canoe trip coming up. Um, we're going to be doing a canoe trip down the Old Mulgee River. And we're going to be gone for approximately about three days. Uh, I'm going to be leaving early Wednesday morning. And uh, so I wanted to get me some fruit and uh, dehydrate them. So I'm going to de put them in the dehydrator tonight so I can have some free food, free fruit, organic, if you please. Um, dehydrated organic plums, and I'm excited about that. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my bounty and give you a tip or trick on how you can have fruit trees for free in your yard. And uh, let me show you guys this right here. First of all, uh, as you can see, I picked, and I'm fixing to be putting them in soil, but I picked some small wild plum trees, the offshoots, and they do have to pollinate off of one another. And you can see here, this little taproot was running to some other trees, so I picked up several of these, and I'm going to put them in water. And you can see here, I've got uh, several small little fruit trees. Um, but I'm going to keep, probably, keep some of them together. But you can see that. That's a nice little fruit tree. Um, that's one. So that's one, two, three. Um, four, five, six. There's three small ones right here. Seven. Eight and nine right there, and uh, I gave my mother about I gave my mother three of them, and these are actually they got about as big around as the bottom of my wrist, so they're in about two and a half inches in circumference. And um, guys, let me tell you what this is the most delicious organic snack fruit that you can get your 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 hands on, especially for free. Hey, and as I say it, if it's free, it's for me. And uh, I like free stuff, and I like bushcraft on a budget. So I want to show you guys my bounty right here. Um, as you can see, we've got a pretty good bit of wild plums. Some of them, like such as like this, and this, if you let them in the sun for a little bit, it'll get its coloration. But for the majority... They're nice and ripe, good, sweet, good, sweet plums. And they do have a little bit of a pit, but that's fine with me. And the guys, this stuff is delicious. Mm -mm. Man. Mm. Mm. And if you look right here, you got a seed. Guys, you can sprout that seed and you can get a tree from that seed so I wanted to show you guys this uh, this quick tip and trick video to have how to get free fruit trees and uh, get you an awesome snack all in the process of one and uh, this is what I'm talking about and these things will spread like wildfire on your property so you start planting them sprouting them planting them uh, rooting them and you're going to have wild plum trees all over your property. And that's the kind of trees that I want growing on my property. That's the kind of trees I want on my homestead. That's the kind of trees that I want beside my cabin. I appreciate what you guys do. appreciate you guys watching my videos. And uh, drop a comment. Leave an idea. See you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.